make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future action. I start by making a simple overhand knot, making sure I leave about 15 centimeters or 6 inches of tag in to work with. I pull the knot tight till it's small enough to be able to pinch it between my fingers. Take note of which side the tag end is coming out. Now insert the tag end through the eye of the lure and then through the top of the overhand knot. Pull on the main line till the loop sits snugs on the eye of the lure. Make sure that the tag end and the main line is coming out in the same direction. The normal way of tying this knot would be to do a clinch knot by wrapping the tag end around the main line three to five times and then inserting the tag end through the top of the loop. But the way I tie this knot is by using a finishing knot. I wrap the tag end over the main line towards the eye of the lure four times. And then instead of inserting it from the top of the loop, I insert it from the bottom up. Here is a clip to show you the difference. The knot on top has its tag end inserted from the top of the knot and the bottom knot was inserted from the bottom. The tag end from the top sticks straight up and will cause slime and debris to build up there. The tag end from the bottom lays flat and towards the lure and will not have any build ups. By pulling on the main line you can adjust the size of the loop that you require. And by pulling on the tag end you will draw the knot closed. Always lubricate the knot before cinching it up by pulling on the main line and the tag end in opposite directions. Note how the tag end lays flat and towards the lure. Another thing I love about tying it this way is that you can trim the tag end real close to the knot. And that completes the modified loop knot. If you've missed this video, then click on this link. And if you've missed that video, then click on that link. Click on the logo below to become part of my family.